Hey, well, I'm back, and I got a phone call, and I stopped by and took care. Here's a look at a Chevy up on there. Look at that. Wow, is that classic or what? Isn't that amazing? How beautiful is that? You need to learn to stay focused, Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob, stay focused. Don't get distracted. Stay focused. Well, you know what? Staying focused is awesome, but at the same time, you miss a lot of they're throwing out they're throwing out goodies and you're missing them because you're so focused no we do one thing at a time one 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 thing at a time we are focused well there's something to be said about that and that's great and god bless you and, but i'm still you know i'm doing my devo here and i'm also noticing the car that goes by that i'm like wow that's cool um it's a little off-putting for people because they don't People don't think that quickly. I was just been talking to several people, and people don't process things. I don't even process things quickly. I need to have time to. Uh, but you know what? It, it, it goes back to the program, and the program says take what you like and leave the rest. The 12-step program. You ever been to a 12-step program, Al-Anon, uh, or any of the other programs? Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous should certainly be part of everybody's education. And uh, I got a new feature now. Yes, look, I can put a little light up here. Isn't that amazing. This thing. So... Police reported ahead. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> I've got my announcer here. They're telling me everything about it. So, all right. I got ten and twelve, and I'm smiling. And police are good with me. So, I think I want to volunteer for the sheriff's department. The. Uh, I have a big dinner once a, once a year. So there they are. There's the guy. Wow, that's amazing. He's way up there on the hill. He's like like this, so I guess he can just dart out. That's very interesting. And everybody slowed down. Everyone was going like that comp is everybody just like they're literally going 25 mile an hour slower because that comp is there just really are you kidding me really that's the now we're going full speed here he slowed the entire freeway down to a crawl because he was sitting there crazy you ever saw the greatest showman well my ex-wife she uh she said, look at the greatest showman. And so I looked it up on YouTube. And wow. Wowzer. 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 You can't believe it. Wow, 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 wow. This bearded, voluptuous hulk of a human being there. And that little tiny person. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Really, really crazy. Um... And it reminded me of me, my situation, how people, I don't like this, I like to have this lighting better. So, and it reminded me of my situation because I was, uh, I was getting to this a few minutes ago. Let's see if I can find that note here. Uh, I had it. Oh, let's see. good note here. Hopefully I can find it. We're not going very fast today, so just... Well, maybe it's not a police officer this time. Here it is. No. Persistence. Persistence pays off. Okay, so I wanted to read this script. Now, now we're going zero. We're just stopped here. The carpool lane is flying by. Watch them. They're flying by. Look at them. Look at them go. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to take my tongue out. They said, but I don't know why I do that. It just seems so. It's like kind of silly. It's like, I guess I can just do my teeth. <laughs> oh, help me, Lord. Avert your eyes. Don't look at the man sticking his tongue out. All right. So we were talking earlier about the good doctor and about Sean Murphy, who has autism. And he is a savant, I guess you'd say. Uh, I don't know the name for what his particular autistic <clears throat> gift is, but he's gifted. And uh, he's, he has perfect spatial recognition. He's very fair. He's honest. He's got really good characteristics. But people, people, and we'll get to this right now. Here's what I wrote down. People see, see Sean's autism. They don't see Sean. If you see someone in a wheelchair, you see the wheelchair. You don't see the person. And that's a problem. It really is a problem. Because this person's got such a wide berth. I'm just like, why are they stumbling here? They can't even get over it. It's crazy. Oh, you know what? So sad. Newsflash. Toys R Us is closing. So if you want to get toys from Toys R Us, go now. Everything's being sold. Toys R Us is... So they, they get giraffes going to be gone. That backwards R. Finally, they're going to start writing the R correctly. Uh, so can you believe it? Toys R Us is hasta la vista, baby. To the chopper. Go to the chopper. They're going to take the chopper and take all the toys away. I'm kind of, I think that Toys R Us is just, I never had much interest in him. My kids, you know, when they were really little, they liked it. But now, so... No more Toys R Us. They're selling everything internationally, locally. All Toys R Us are going to be gone. So look at this statement. People see your problems. They don't see you. That ring a bell? Do people see your problems? They don't see you? Oh, look at that. Look at that horrible zit on your face. All of a sudden, they don't hear anything you're saying. All they see is the zit. They go, oh, my God. He's got a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> Remember, kindergarten cop. <laughs> Maybe it's a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, or whatever it was. Ah, oh, they were funny. Uh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Look at this Azusa sign. It sure looks beautiful. Wow. It's all electronic, but it sure looks beautiful. They redid it with purple now. Purple's a good color. These cars are crazy. We go to a dead stop. We take off like we're at the Winter Nationals. Then we get just and back to Winter Nationals. I keep well, just kind of just, just, I try to like drive smooth. Just drive kind of smooth like. All right. So when you first get to know a group of people, no one believes you. If people, if people are just looking at the disability, no one believes you. And then, so Sean, Sean says, well, they didn't know me, which is exactly my point. In my situation where I am and in my place, I want people to know me. I don't want them to be distracted by the huge zit on my face. I don't want them to be distracted by my wheelchair. I don't want them to be distracted by my, my digital code. <clears throat> I want people to know who Bob is. Who is Robert? Who is this man? I wanted to know me. My ex-wife, as I mentioned, uh, had me watch The Greatest Showman and blew my socks off. I was just like weeping because I, I feel like that Greatest Showman. I feel like I got these great big boobs and, and uh, breasts, I guess you should say. <laughs> I don't know if boob's a bad word. <clears throat> we used to say the boob tube, remember? <laughs> <clears throat> Because when you got off, it, Mama no longer gave milk, but you go to the TV, the TV would give you your milk. Oh, Mama. Oh, and they'd it, calm you down and keep you keep you steady. And uh, Hang on. Sneeze a Rooney here. <coughs> so, they didn't not know me. That's really kind of insulting. If they, the person doesn't want to know you. 
They just want to know. I talked to a gentleman yesterday, and part of one of my team members, one of the new team members, and he was like, "Well, I know, I know, I'm a, I work at." Uh, and I was just like, "Shut up!" <laughs> the old New York uh, catchphrase there, you know. Stop! Don't say things like that. No, you don't know my situation. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what my deal is. And every case is different. And my case is particularly different. And so and here it is. They don't know me. You're different. All others start with a level of respect that's implied. So now let's let's get off of the, the you know, the particulars. That's why people like to conform. You ever wonder why do people want to conform? Why do people want to just blend in? Why do they want to just go with the flow? Why do they want to, you know, the least amount of, you know, my my uh, sister's kids. We talked about this a couple hours ago. My sister's child. He didn't want to park in front of you. I didn't want any stress. I didn't want any, you know, just smooth and easy, smooth and easy. Well, that's great, and that is kind of nice, and in a way, it's it's beautiful. I mean, you know, my, my sister's family is is just rolling along with no troubles, and everything is just smooth as glass, and that's awesome. At the same time, though, there's something to be said for the soul that the Lord puts in the heart of the person to challenge the status quo. The Steve Jobs, the Bill Gates, the people who challenge the status quo. Not in a bad way, not a Weinstein way. Uh, you know, now he's a verb here. Uh, not in the Bill Cosby way. Not challenging things that way. That's just immoral, bad behavior. But doing the job to the best of your ability, using all of your skills, and finding a creative and, and, and a challenging way to do something that, you know, and there's limits there, of course. I was telling you about how I, I put it in a sink a couple days ago, and I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. Turned out it wasn't, my, it wasn't my effort that was lacking. The sink was a bad sink. It was a defective sink. So I've got to learn to pull the plug on things sometimes and not just spend an inordinate amount of energy on, you know, something that is just a fail to begin with, to, to start off as a fail. And it's funny because God, I think I get that heart from my father, because God, he by all means and ways should have pulled the plug on humanity. He should not be trying so hard with us. It just shouldn't happen. I mean, we're, we're a lost cause. I mean, there's very, but somehow God treasures you and I. God treasures you and I. It's like, I'm, I'm watching the guy. Police reported ahead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who needs Google Home Assistant? I've got my EverDrive app and it's telling me everything about it. So it's funny because I canceled the thing. I didn't want to have interruptions, and, but she's still interrupting about these police ahead. So, all right, drop your 420 and, and drop your guns and, and <laughs> okay. All right, so, and of course, here's the predictable, everyone's stopping. Look at this, we've been rolling along at 85 miles an hour. Everybody is coming to a stop. Okay, there's a police ahead. We better all stop. <laughs> we don't have to stop unless the guy has the red light on. I mean, no, no, we're just gonna stop because You don't have to stop because there's cops ahead. Just do your regular thing and the cops will be fine. You know, they don't, they can't just pull you over for no reason whatsoever. I mean, the U.S. Department of Justice, the Supreme Court, the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, all departments agree that they can't, they can't just mess with people. There is one department that can mess with people no matter what. And well, we've talked about them. But let's stick on the topic here. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, okay. Well, give me a call. I'll be right back. One two one three seven one three eight nine five four eight nine five four green att dot net on the Twitter, Mr. Bob at Bob Bob eight nine five four. And of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Diva here on YouTube. And I'll be right back.